Hi, my name is Max from Dan the Little Man One, and today I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be teaching you a tutorial. Well, showing this is a tutorial. I'm going to show you something very valuable. Oh, here we go. This is something very useful um, that I need for this. But I reckon that I don't really need it, so I'm going to put it over there because it takes away part of the fun of this tutorial. And that is collecting the block yourself. So if you haven't already gathered by the oops. You haven't already gathered by the title. This whole tutorial is about on how to place a block. You wanna know how to place a block? Well, first step is you gotta the first hurdle that you have to overcome in placing a block is destroying a block. So you gotta find a nice block that you want. So I like this block because it's really you know, it's just in the middle here, it's sticking up, it's perfect, it's not it's not too much, it's just like it's there. You can destroy it easily, you won't destroy two blocks, you don't want too many blocks, or else you have to place two blocks and not one block. That is very negative. You don't want that. So, first what we're going to do is we're going to left mouse click, or whatever else you assign it to. But, we're going to left mouse click, hold that down, and see that we have uh, made the block turn into dirt form. And now the dirt form is basically, it's basically just when you're allowed to place it. So make sure it's not in there. It has to be in your hotbar, and make sure you selected it by scrolling to the scroll on where you want to place the block, or well, on the block that you want to place. So now we're going to find it. Now the whole point of this tutorial is so you can relocate blocks. So we're going to take it, take it to another place, place that we might need a block. Oh, here we go. Look, there's a hole here. <coughs> this is it's a very um. There's no dirt here, so. Yeah, since it's only stone, this is the kind of thing that you want to learn this tutorial for. If you want to build a nice house here, this is a nice valley. You can just cover it all up with dirt, and it'll eventually grow into grass. So what we do is we have to select the block. Now I select the block, and we gotta, gotta point our cursor at where we want to place the block. And now we're gonna right click, not left click, the one on the right. The one on the right, usually people select it with their um, middle finger. But if you're a left hand, I guess it's the same, but it's on the left side. No, it's on the right side, so you have your pointer finger. Um, but I'm a right hander, so I'm going to use my middle finger. Now, to place the block, you have to point it and make sure it's highlighted. The block is highlighted where you want it to. As you can see, every time I put my cursor on, on the block, it'll have a square. This square is showing what block I'm actually pointing at and where it will be placed. So, so if I if I point here, I can see faintly the cursor on the outside of the lines there, and around there, this area here. See, so you can see it. Brilliant. I'm gonna jump out of the hole because I don't want to place it when when my legs are there because it won't work because my legs are in the way. So I'm gonna place the block. Right click it. Oh hello pig. Are you gonna watch me place a block? Yes. No. Okay. So right click. There you go. Wasn't that hard, was it? That was the second hurdle you overcame, placing the block. Now, with this valuable tutorial, you know how to place the block. <laughs> this tutorial has taught you how to place a block effectively in the most easy and less stressful way. I hope that now you can place blocks without getting depressed or agitated of the intense moment when you have to place it and destroy the block. I hope this is informative and you understand now what it means to actually place a block. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.